Good morning. So um, in between this week, we've got a couple of book tours. And, um, oh, it's just gone off. It, um, the first one today is uh, another aria fiction. Oh, goodness, my Kindle is so old. Come on, work with me. It's called What's Love Got to Do With It? Um, by Anna Primali. And I um, reviewed one of Anna's books last year. And they're... Um, they're really fun and they're a little bit unusual and I quite like that, although I, I'm quite happy reading kind of women's romance. Um, yeah, they're just a bit fun. Um, this one is slightly saucier than the first book, so there's quite a lot of sex in it, um, but all very um, consensual and healthy and all the rest of it. Um, it's a fun story because um, you kind of know they're going to get together, but you just can't envisage how because they're such opposites. Um, and so the story is this very long, rumbling, um, how's it going to happen? Um, so one it is very, very straight-laced and, you know, there's there's one love of your life and, and you stay with them forever and, you know, nothing else will do. And one has had, both have had similar experiences. One's led one to one extreme and one's gone to the other extreme, which is actually, you know, there, there's no such thing as love and so... You know, you can just uh, sleep around and have fun and that's all you need out of a relationship. So it's this lovely, heavy mix of these two characters who've both been hurt in different ways and have gone to these extremes um, to, you know, look after themselves, to keep themselves well. Um, and then kind of bounce together and clearly very attracted to each other, you know, and both good people at heart. Um, but how to how to fathom these, you know, completely opposite opinions of, of what a relationship would need and contain. Um, so it's a wonderful sort of clash. Uh, you know, the conflict in it is excellent. Um, but surrounding that is this lovely idea that she's a city lover um, and he's a country guy, having already tried the city. Um, and so the, the conflict's on lots of levels. She's come to a country ostensibly to write an article um, from a city perspective, but actually rather falls in love with this um, kooky town that she ends up in. So it's this, it's this glorious mix of worlds on lots of levels. Um, some of the, I mean, it's funny, it's just wonderfully funny. And I, I really love that. I love to be able to laugh. Um, the characters in it, you know, there's some real... I mean, some of it's a little bit cliche, I suppose, but, um, you know, there's some excellent characters in this town um, and they do all sorts of weird and wonderful things. They're trying to make the town more tourist friendly. They're trying to bring money back to the town. And so they have various events um, and it's just lovely. It, it's completely charming and um and fun to read you know you just enjoy reading it and I hope I hope I hope that Anna continues to write these really lovely um quite well contained um stories I, I just love them I think she's very talented and I love the quirk of it the only thing I wish um children are eating Halloween sweets hence the excitement this early in the morning um shh <laughs> The only thing that I wish she had done very slightly differently is she does talk about fracking and as, a, as a, an environmental activist myself, I wish she'd done a little bit more on that. It's a brilliant topic. You don't want that Halloween sweet. Um, it's a brilliant topic, I think, to bring in and it was handled very well in the book, but I, I would have liked it to be even more um, nitty gritty in the detail of it because I think it it's a really... I like how she manages to weave quite serious topics into very funny books. Um, so I would have I would have been happy with a little bit more of that. I suspect some people would have found that a bit overly political um, in, in a romance. But um, anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will definitely read more of Anna. I think she's extraordinary.